Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I got a new toy. It's called an Ake the Way Pro. It's one of those guns that help you relieve yourself. Stay tuned. For fast acting relief, it's the Ake the Way Pro right here. Okay, let's see what we got in the box, guys. Let's see what we got. Like a radar gun, you know. In a baseball game, it's like a radar gun. You know, you shoot it like that, and you get a number here, right? No, but you guys have seen things like this on the market, right? It's a, it's one of those things that vibrate and help you relieve, um, you know, aches and pains. Uh, for me, it's cramps at night. You know, if I run one of these around wherever I'm ailing, I usually don't hurt, right? I know. My man, Coach Chris here, you know, has messed with one of these before, and he uses this every day from what um, he told me. So, Coach Chris, want to explain what you use it for when you're on tour? Yeah, so uh, something like this, you know, massage gun, I tend to normally use uh, something that um, I have maybe some soreness uh, just through playing a lot. So some of the things that I use it for, body parts I use it for is mostly my shoulder, uh, my feet, um, IT bands, uh, hip flexors, um, but it's just kind of uh, just one of those just effortless kind of um, almost like a lazy type uh, device to use to help get to those like places that I've kind of overused a lot on the court. So well, perfect. So let's take a look at what's in the the, the gun here. I'm gonna have Coach uh, Gu hold that for me for a second. Um, so I think. Just from looking at this, there's four pieces here. The the number one used piece is probably this one, right, Coach Chris? Yeah, I agree. This one's probably the softer one to use, and um, you know, uh, this it does have quite a bit of surface area, and this is probably the most common one to use on um, for you know the most sore uh, places on your body. So right. So legs, your feet. Do you use this on your feet? Yeah, you can definitely use that on your feet. Um, obviously, if you want something a little bit more. Uh, pinpointed like you would you would want to use something like this right to get really um, a, a deeper inside the tissue so right. that's what I would recommend that one for um, and then and then this one is a like more of a flat knob yeah so for wider surface area wider surface area again too but this one doesn't have as much cushioning so obviously it's wider surface area and then all um, you get a little bit more inside the tissue I think so it's like a deep tissue thing with this one yeah. and this one right? I'd say so. this is pretty firm too yeah exactly right and then we got this little fork looking thing um, yes they, they told me that's for neck and spine neck and spine exactly so uh, a lot of the times um, right uh, you this one I think would require if you were to go for the spine it would require someone else to help you out with but for the most part this would be uh, probably the upper neck area would be great you could probably easily access that, but if you want to go lower to, you know, the lumbar, thoracic, like I would probably have someone else to help you with this using this one. Okay, so my man, Coach Gu here, um, he's got some IT band issues into the knee issues today. Uh, so this is getting serious because he's told me he's had this condition for a week now. So he wanted to actually use this gun today and have Coach Chris kind of work on him a little bit. So Coach Chris, what would you, well, which one would you choose here? So, uh, first I would ask you, uh, hey Coach Gu, um, how badly is the pain? Uh, if you're on a 1 to 10, probably like a 6, like a 7. Okay, mm -hmm. so if it's a 7, um, do you tolerate pain quite well, or are you a little bit more on like maybe the sensitive side? Uh, my IT, I mean, I'm used to having IT problems, so yeah, I'm pretty much like, I'm used to the pain okay so since Elsa Gu is quite the athlete too as well so what I would do is maybe start with a softer one and then I can definitely get working a little bit more with something a little bit more firmer so maybe the one that's a little bit more pinpointed okay. so I'd work on a combination of so we'll things. start this first yeah and this okay. is something that you know Gu can do on his own too as well you can do on your own too eight to away guns are easy to use for yourself um, so you know this is one of the reasons why these products are pretty popular right now we're gonna have Coach Chris work on Coach Gu. Stay tuned. All right. So with the Eight Away Pro, um, 
how you should basically assemble it first is that all it is is really simple. You just slot it in here and you just press in until it kind of just fits snugly, right? That's it. Really simple. Five speeds on this particular Ape the Way Pro model. So um, might want to start off a little slow and then see what uh, Coach Andrew can uh, tolerate. Okay. okay. So, so I'll, I'll let you go. Okay. So what I, I typically like to do is uh, I actually like to be on the highest speed. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. So basically for this 8 Way Pro, you just press and hold, and it's already starting right now at its lowest speed. The blue is at its lowest speed. And you press it again to activate it to whatever speed that you want it to be in. This is the highest right now that we got. Um, the battery reading is on the right hand side. So basically I have it at its high speed. What I want to do, the reason why I like to do that is because that way, once it's at its high speed, I can kind of control then how much force I want to uh, apply to Goo's leg. So what I do is I'll probably start a little higher. So I'll start a little bit higher, but I won't be, you know, pressing in that hard. If I press in a little bit more hard, you'll start, you'll see it like me kind of, um, being a little bit more forceful, but I'll start a little bit higher, and I'll kind of just work my way down here too as well. Is that where you feel it right here, Goo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like right here. You're right, so yeah. I'll just kind of work my way up high, so really um, not as forceful, and then as soon as I kind of get to the area, I'll just kind of work it a little bit more, being a little bit more forceful. And what I'm doing is just applying a light pressure, and then once I get in here, I'll just kind of start kneading it a little bit more, so that way he can kind of do you feel a little bit more here? Mm -hmm. Good. So just start working high and then just kind of knead it. And then just kind of trying to just work on the knot that he said that he has in his IT band. And then just start it over again. That way it just kind of flushes um, any, you know, uh, dead uh, scar tissue in here. Um, and that way it's not as painful too as well. So how are you doing, Coach Goo? Pretty good, actually. What do you think uh, so far of the, of the Egg to Whey Pro? Pretty good product overall. I mean, a lot of people, even in college, are starting to move now to this, which is great. So, I think it's a great investment. Even since the holidays are coming up, right? Thanksgiving and go. Christmas, this is a perfect product for your athletes out, th out there. So, I would say use it. I think invest in one. So, we're going to go a little deeper and see if we can relieve a little bit more of that IT band. So, we put in the the pressure point skinnier one. Uh, so let's see if we can have Goo feel a little bit more relief with this one. All right. So same thing, kind of I'll just turn on the high speed and I'll start like a little bit uh, higher up here, uh, less force and then as I get in here I'll kind of increase it a little bit more and see if you can, how's that go? Oh, definitely more in it. Yeah, sure. yeah. Is it, it directs more to like a particular part which is good. Yeah. So right now I'm just doing the same thing, kind of just kneading it a little bit, just trying to break up the scar tissue, the knot that, <laughs> that is in his, uh, yeah. So as you can see, this one's a little bit more uh, painful, but that's that's kind of the point is to break up the you know the scar tissue in here. How much pain are you in right now? Definitely a lot more pain than the last one, but I mean it's manageable. Yeah, because Goo's an athlete, he can handle this. So coach, where else are you feeling some pain or? Uh, I'm feeling pretty tight near my like calf area. The calf area, okay. So like just on the side of my calf, that's where I'm feeling. That's probably causing also my knee to, to right. happen and to flare up. So we're, we got the flat one in right now. We're gonna try to alleviate some of the pain that you're having underneath the knee here. So coach Chris, how, how are we gonna do this? Really the same way. Um, I like to keep it up you know, higher speed. Five again. Because okay. yeah, Goo's quite the athlete and he's used to kind of these deep tissue massages, these, this type of little bit of pain. Maybe if someone were uh, couldn't tolerate the pain too much, I'd probably start at a lower setting. But also because uh, with a higher setting, it just doesn't skip as much in general. So, so I'll start here. Can you move a little bit more, Coach Goo? Oh yeah, go for it. You're right here? Yeah. Okay, great. So I'll start. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, so I'll start kind of kneading it a little bit more, um, light, and then like deep. How was that, Coach Goo? That's good, but that was, that was deep. That's hard? It's hurting? Yeah, that was hard. That's hurting. Ooh, look at As you can see, thing. Coach Goo is really <laughs> tight. It's, it's, it's <laughs> Where are you going, Coach Goo? <laughs> <laughs> so, Coach Chris, what does it mean when 
let's say Coach Andrew starts to flinch more and more and more and more. Does that mean it's too tight? Or what, what does that mean when it hurts more, let's say? So, uh, because, well, specifically for Coach Gu, it just tells me that Coach Gu might need to stretch a little bit more. He might have a little bit of, you know, some uh, tightness, some uh, lactic acid built up in his calves. Scar tissue? Not too much oh, scar okay. tissue, but lactic acid, basically. Okay. So, because uh, Coach Gu is on his feet and coaching a lot of hours, you know, every day. So... Tells me maybe he might need to stretch a little bit more and maybe take care of those calves a little bit more. But for someone you know typically who doesn't play as often as uh, you know uh, a college athlete or something like that, um, still you still want to stretch, but that's uh, maybe not go that high in the setting. Maybe go a little bit lower, and you know just trying to work your way and build up to the that high setting um, on the eight to eight prep. Got it. How do you feel, coach? That was good. It just like it was just a little painful because I haven't really stretched as much as you can tell <laughs> from my reaction. But um, it does feel a lot better. Um, I would say uh, I probably need to work on it more. Okay, so we got we got the last attachment in, and that is for the neck and the spine. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand this over to Coach Chris, and we're gonna work on Coach Andrew's neck and spine. So again, I start a little bit on the higher setting because I know Coach Gu like uh, can handle a little bit. So I'll just start kind of uh, with less pressure, and then as I work my way down, I'll increase a little bit more with the pressure. So just kind of working all along the spine area. You should kind of feel it. All right. So for for the foot massage that all of you love, right? Who doesn't want your arch right to feel better, right? Those of you with um, you know, foot problems, tightness in the foot, um, you know, borderline, you know, plantar, right? Try this out. Try this out. Coach Goo's going to try it on his foot and show you how to use it. All right. So just what Chris said, you got to press the power button, hold it, and then it'll turn on. I'm going to go to the highest setting because I just like at the highest setting in general. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom, apply less pressure. And when we're going up to the top and go back down, the same thing again. Applying pressure on to go up, at least you want to go down. How long would you do this for? I probably I would say about minimum five minutes to maximum about ten minutes. And then if you want, if you still want to get another massage in, do it again for another five to ten minutes again. All right, so that's the Ake the Way Pro model. Um, I'm gonna ask Coach Chris a couple questions, actually. Um, so how long would you spend with something like this? Um, let's say on an average a day, you know, after tennis, before tennis, um, recovery. So uh, as a tennis player, it really depends on kind of what I have um, in my training menu. So, or if I'm playing tournaments, I'd say training bases. If I'm really sore, maybe I'll use it, you know, every evening uh, I do a good job I think it's still you shouldn't uh, discount stretching I think stretching is still really important um, taking the time you know 30 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes a day stretching is really important and stretching you know even in the morning you know in your warm-ups too as well is, is also important this I see using this more as kind of uh, after playing tennis kind of after court hours um, when you have a little bit more time to use this and relax, uh, this is kind of quite good to use. I'd use this um, on kind of like I said, my affected areas would be mostly my shoulders, feet, um, you know, IT band, um, and maybe even forearm too a little bit. So, and egg to weigh something like this, it comes in really handy too as well because it's quite portable. Um, so you can even use it, uh, you know, before to before practice as well. But for me personally, I would use something like this, uh, you know, after I practice, after I played, um, you know, a match or something like that. So, uh, Coach Andrew, how do you feel? Uh, I feel actually a lot better. Um, definitely, if I used it a little bit more, um, I think it would help relieve majority of my pain um, that I'm feeling from my IT and my uh, side of my calf. But overall, I think it's, just, it's a great product to use. Um, if it's like, let's say it's, for me, it's like when I roll, like you have like a styrofoam or something hard that you can roll on, like a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. 
this can help you get those tough spots where you can't reach with certain balls, for example, right? So yeah. this is a great item, I would say, and everyone or every athlete should at least have one like this. Right. So my experience with this uh, was at the stretch lab. Now, I was complaining that my right knee was hurting and they actually ran um, a gun on that knee for about five, 10 minutes. And I didn't, I didn't cramp up that night, surprisingly. So it felt great. And I'm glad, you know, I got one of these now myself. So I don't need to, you know, go to the stretch lab to, you know, feel it. So, so I'm happy that I have one of these now. Um, and I want to also thank Coach Chris for showing me the way on how to use this because he's the expert uh, since he's had one of these for a long time. Coach Chris, where can we find you? You can find me at Christopher Chen, C-H-I-E-N. And I want to also thank Coach Andrew Gu, as always, for being our test subject today. And hopefully you got some relief out of it. Coach Andrew, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis, and I'll also be posting content there. All right, guys. So that's the Akeaway Pro. All right. Great Christmas gift. Great gift overall, even for yourself. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.